Spider quad, spider quad, does whatever a spider quad does. <laughs> Gets stuck to metal and won't let go because it loses its signal and the switch does nothing. And if you throw it wrong, it falls on the floor. Yeah, if you miss, then it hits the ground. Spider quad! Here comes spider quad! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The first thing I wanted to say is that I am super excited to finally be an official Rotor Riot pilot. It is something that I have dreamed of for a long time and I'm sure that a lot of other pilots out there have dreamed of being a part of Rotor Riot. It's such an honor to be a part of such a great team of pilots. We have so much fun together and it's a blast to be a part of Rotor Riot. I've worked really hard to try to come up with some really fun, new, exciting content and there is a lot more stuff to come. We have already filmed about five other episodes just recently and it's up to our editor Christian to make him magic, but he's a great editor and he will do an awesome job as he always does. So on to the next thing. I have been working on my studio and this is it. This is what I've been working on at my shop for the last month or so. I've been trying to make it more presentable so that when I record my content, the background isn't horrible. It's not a big gigantic mess. Although if you turn this around, there is a ton of mess still in my shop but we're working on that, trying to get it rectified and cleaned up. Uh, I'm making a lot of progress. It's not finished yet. We're still working on it. I had this idea that I wanted to do kind of like a behind the scenes series of the Rotorite episodes. When we film these episodes, we have tons and tons of content that just doesn't make the final cut because we can't make a 45 minute video. And I thought it would be awesome to be able to add that stuff to this channel and to give you guys the opportunity to see some of the stuff that we do and some of the shenanigans that happen behind the scenes that you don't get to see. Today we're going to talk about how I made Magnet Drone and that's going to be the first episode of the series. So let's get started. So Magnet Drone wasn't my idea. I actually built it. I came up with the methods to make it work, but I wasn't the guy that had the original idea. When David Vinistel came to town about a year ago, he tried to do Magnet Drone, but the magnets that he got didn't work. They weren't powerful enough. It didn't hold it to the object. So they moved on to a different project. There was only so much time he had to work on projects while he was here. So he didn't have a chance to finish Magnet Drone, unfortunately. So I had all the time in the world after he was gone to come up with ideas and projects and find the proper magnets to use. I came up with a couple different magnets that I bought on Amazon. I settled on the four magnets that I ended up using on the arms. Magnet Drone worked amazing, and I have some more stuff planned for Magnet Drone, by the way. So keep tuned to the channel of Rotor Riot. If you haven't already subscribed to Rotor Riot, make sure you go to the Rotor Riot channel and subscribe now so you can see some of the awesome shenanigans I get into on the other channel. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you subscribe if you want to be able to see the new series coming out of all the behind the scenes episodes of what we do on Rotor Riot. So when I was building Magnet Drone, I was trying to think of a way to activate the electromagnets. I actually used electromagnets, not regular magnets, because I wanted to be able to have it disconnect from whatever I stuck it to. Can you imagine being stuck on top of a water tower and not being able to get your drone back? That would have been horrible. So electromagnet drone allowed us to detach the magnets by a flip of a switch on the transmitter, and it would just fall down or fly away, whatever you decided to do. So when I built Magnet Drone, I had to come up with a way to activate the magnets. I bought a lot of stuff from Hobby King back in the day, and one of the things that I bought from Hobby King was an electromagnetic switch. It's essentially a relay, and a relay is basically a device that takes low current input and provides you ability to connect two wires of a high current input. So I was able to use it like a servo. My buddy Joshua Barwell actually helped me out with this in one of the videos that he made where he taught me how to wire up the servo to a flight controller and make the flight controller activate the servo similar to what it would do on a standard receiver. So since this electromagnetic switch from Turnigy takes a servo input and outputs the connection of two wires. So it basically just takes that servo input and connects those two wires together, whatever you happen to have those wires connected to. So what I did was I ran a ground wire straight to all of the ground leads of the magnet, and it doesn't matter which one you choose. Both sides of the magnet can be positive or negative. It doesn't matter which one's which. So basically I took one lead from each magnet, ran it straight to ground on the battery terminal of the drone. The other wire on the magnet is the positive lead. So I twisted all four of those together, and I ran them to one side of this servo controlled switch. So I took the other side of this electromagnetic switch or relay and I ran it to the positive lead of the battery. So now basically what's going to happen is whenever you flip a toggle switch on your radio, then it will send 
positive directly from the lipo, which happens to be a 6S in this case, straight to the magnets and they activate. All of this was done under the hood of the HD1, which is a Rotor Riot frame that can carry the HD digital system by DJI. And that way I was able to see HD video from the goggles whenever flying it. And it gave a much better experience, much better range, all the good stuff that comes along with DJI. We used an HDLRC F7 in this. That's exactly the same board that I used in the Bardwell tutorial video where he taught me how to do the servo. If you want to learn how to hook up a servo to your flight controller, check out that video on Bardwell's channel. The drone was already built. All I had to do was drill holes into the arm and mount the magnets with the screws they came with. They just happened to be the right length. An M4 screw of a certain length, whatever it came with, was perfect for the project. So now we needed a place to put the magnet. My, uh, my laser cutter at the shop wasn't going to be a cool enough target for us to hit, so we wanted to try to stick it up high somewhere. So I wasn't 100% sure it was going to work with the water tower. Matter of fact, I wasn't even sure if the water tower was metal. Had no idea. So I went to Lowe's. I found some sheet metal. It was four foot by two foot sheet metal. I took two pieces of that, attached it with zip ties by drilling holes in the sheet metal, so that I, now I had a four foot by four foot piece of sheet metal. I stuck one of our awesome Rotor Riot logos to it, and then we hung it from the parking garage with string and that would give us a target that was way up high that we could hit and we wouldn't necessarily be damaging a parking garage or find any way to get ourselves kicked out. Then we found out that the water tower happened to be metal and that made the episode so much more epic. A couple of things that didn't make the episode, when Drew and Bubby and I were flying Magnet Drone at the parking garage, we tried to do a couple of tricks as well. So Bubby was able to rotate 180 degrees and land upside down on the sheet metal on the parking garage. Drew was able to do a front flip and land upside down on the parking garage. It was so sick, but some of those things didn't really get a whole lot of attention or may not even have been included in the final cut of the episode. So I wanted to make sure to show you guys those clips on this channel. Be sure to keep checking the channel for future content like this. But for now, Drew and I are going to head out to a new spot that we found to fly at that we think is going to be a lot of fun. So let's head out there and do some freestyle flying.